What's up guys, it's me Useless Girl and I'm back with another Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. If you like it, you know what to do. Today we continue with reading this house elf second letter because I accidentally picked up the first and see what he wants to talk about. So here we go. Also sorry about the possible uh, background noises. Uh, my noisy neighbors are at home and they have like a four year old little girl screaming around. But, oh well, this is like, uh, I have like two more days in this flat as of the recording of this uh, video. So hopefully the next place where I will live, it will be uh, quieter, <clears throat> but we will see. Okay, so. So I tried to, sorry, I tried to go into that lake where the hell is it so I tried to go into the lake and uh, do that side quest whatever but here oh my god I thank god they are going away I mean the noisy neighbors so I tried to go into the lake uh, and uh, was tracking this quest, but it still brought me up here to the main quest uh, with the goblin. So I was like, okay, fine, let's do that. Uh, that was me. I don't know what to do about these things yet. How do I get the... Oh. So this, this is why they are here. Almost there, head of for the pumpkins just down from the stone circle, look inside one of them. You may be able to help poor broken heart this scroll. Okay, so pumpkins look inside. Pumpkins. Oh, I think I know just the place. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Yeah. Revelio. Also, I figured out this here. Meanwhile, you had to put that there and use the incendio to open the door. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? 
Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black Family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book? And that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The Headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. Aww. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Wow. It seems this may help us both. I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. Revelio. Looking for leeches. What's that? Quick crow. Quite a few of you here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Incendium. Give me that and that. Cabbage came a little bit late. You okay? Okay. <clears throat> I'm curious because there's like a challenge where. No, not a challenge, a quest. 
you have to roll successfully only one more roll and i'm done with this cool Revelio. Oh, I left one here. Where should I put the toes, by the way? Oh, there. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Could it be a visitor? Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. the name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find the Black Family Ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. We don't mind that. Um, I want to check that journal. Where is it? Cannot. 
Maybe that's gonna be like a quest item. So Lumos for those gates. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Revenia. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollina's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to House Elves. A little bit dark. Okay, let's see the quest. This will be the <clears throat> solution. Or this disarming charm. Okay. Let's try to go with this. I hope it will lead us there. Ah, oh, that's good only for the main quests, it seems. How do I progress? Couldn't really find anything or figure out how to dive. I don't think there's a button for that. And I can't use my wand in the water. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay. So you cannot dive, but you can search like this.
I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Okay, cool. This was easier than I thought. I just swam in the wrong direction of camera. difficult. Ha. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Okay, and there was another side quest here. I want to do that because I have to roll once more from a, an enemy. And then I can go, probably I can go learn something from a professor. A new... Hello, sorry. Oh, damn it. How, how do I get these? I don't know how to get those. Revelia. Oh. Sorry. What? What was that reaction? Revenia. Let's rob everyone blind. That's the loved one. Okay. What do you sell, sir? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Catherine's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. Mm -hmm. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. 
What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Okay, I have these, so let's see. <clears throat> hmm. I hope to see you again sometime. Sorry, quick inventory management. We can sell all the gloves. We have this. We can sell these. Let's check out the bundle. Oh, not a match. I like this so far. The best timing. Mean. It's still locked, but it will be worse than what I already have. Okay, let's quickly Hello, sell Mr. them Sammy. because I need what can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Okay, let's sell everything. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. Thanks for the money. And as I saw, you keep the ones equipped. Yes, nice. Okay, side quest. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. Has Renrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. 
I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. I like these side quests. They are not too long. And uh, also build the world around you and uh, other relationships, like friendships. It's a little bit dark out here. And I don't think I can skip time. Abandoned rebellion. Abandoned what? Sorry. Is this a trap? Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Okay, I have a little puzzle here. First spider fight. Potato. Nope. Incendio. Was the track? Oh. I hit spiders, but luckily I don't have like phobia. Of them. Worth a try. Mm. Mm. Oh, finally, it's starting to get daylight. How do I get in there? Huh. 
Ravenia. Come. Nothing else here. Rebellion. Oh, I will have to and she get up there. Oops. I think she will need that crate to get up there. How do I get that? Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on! Okay, so I guess we are not going up there. Revenia. No! Okay, bye. Sorry, this is like a side questy episode. No? to do but okay what's happening there an incumbent this must be it 
Can I sneak attack him? I don't even know this spell yet. Avelia. Maybe it's a basic one. That she already learned. Let's quickly put these. Let's check out this camp. as if there's more than one way to enter. Avelio. We should have killed that traitor arm when we took his cards. Right. She could totally get there up there. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. It won't be long now before we find another repository. Why have you not run away? Intend to die, do you? That intruder! Uh, 
I've been fighting since before you were born. Easily diverted. An utterly pitiful display. That was unexpected. Right on, Let me understand. I will have my revenge. Is that the best you can do? Are you quite finished? It's sad. There you go. Where is he? How can I get up there? Where's that last one? Oops. Just wasted one. Something. Anything up there? No. What the hell are these for? There were some out there. Just making sure to pick everything up. In 
Hmm. I'm so clever. So we cleared out the camp. Let's go back to the goblin. Did I? Sorry. And defense against the dark arts. Yay! Okay, we go to the goblin. Oh, I can pass through. Go! Ugh. Obviously. If you're here for my wares, I'm... Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Nice. Okay. Let's quickly check these. This is the closest shrine. Defense against. I need that. Okay, guys, so I will end this video here because I'm running out of time. And uh, this is a good stopping point for this side quest oriented episode. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed and if you did please consider leaving a like, comment or even subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, thanks again for watching and see you next time. Goodbye and peace.